The Zoning Committee of the People's Democratic Party has recommended the presidential ticket of the party in the 2023 general elections be thrown open to all zones of the country. The decision to throw open the ticket was part of the resolutions it reportedly made during its meeting in Abuja on Tuesday. Now, if this recommendation is adopted uh, by the National Executive Committee of the party, aspirants from any of uh, the six geopolitical zones in the country could run for any of the elective positions, including the position of presidential flag bearer of the party. Now, this is against calls and expectations that the party should zone its presidential ticket to the south of Nigeria ahead of the 2023 general elections. Uh, the zoning panel, uh, chaired by Benue State Governor Samuel Otom, reportedly cited the exigency of time as its reason for throwing open the ticket to all its interested aspirants. Now, joining us to discuss this is Ibrahim Abdullahi. Ibrahim Abdullahi is a deputy national publicity secretary of the People's Democratic Party. Ibrahim Abdullahi, thank you very much for joining us on Plus Politics. My pleasure, please. Thank you, sir. Um, uh, we had Governor Tom previously coming out to deny that the zoning panel had made a decision uh, regarding the direction the party should go in on zoning. So can you tell us if this is the authentic, authentic position of the zoning panel um, of, set up by the PDP? Well, uh what is to our knowledge is that uh, the panel, after a number of sittings, have come up with uh, a conclusion as to allow the entire country, made up of the South and the North, to try for the presidency. We have come up with this decision, or the committee came up with this decision, sequel to the realization that the, to broaden the uh, democratic experiment, to allow for the expression of the freedom that every uh, politician aspiring for that office is entitled to, and to strengthen the spirit of democracy, as it were, let uh, uh, wisdom prevail on a PDP to allow the entire country to try across the South and the North. The politicians aspiring for the presidency could throw their heart in the ring. Let the best man for the job pick it. And that's where we are now. Do, do you expect the, um, the National Executive Committee of the party to ratify the, the choice or the decision or recommendation, if you will, of the autumn panel? Well, in the light of the circumstance, I foresee that happening. But I don't... Uh, Mr. Abdullah, can you hear us, please? Uh, sincere apologies. I think we're having a bit of a, a network issue with him. But are you there, Mr. Abdullah? All right, we seem to have lost uh, that, that connection. We'll try and get back the connection uh, as soon as possible. But of course, um, in reaction to this, the South Caucus of the PDP, that's the People's Democratic Party, has also been airing their views uh, regarding this particular, um, this particular decision by the Atom Panel. Uh, don't forget that um, it was at the Benway State Government House uh, in McCordy where one of the bulwarks of the People's Democratic Party, who himself is from the southern part of the country, uh, he is a governor of River State, Ian Somwike, um, had declared his intention uh, to run for the office of president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on the platform, of course, of the People's Democratic uh, uh, Party. So, uh, you know, a f not a few eyebrows were raised that um, Wike had made his announcement in the sitting room <laughs> uh, of uh, Samuel Otom, who was at the head of this um, uh, zoning panel of the, of the party, you know, and uh, some accusations went his way. Uh, but it seems that he has been able to steer the ship against those accusation, accusations, throwing it um, to the entire country opening oppositions up to the entire country. But there are strong demands from the southern part, the southern part of Nigeria, that the presidential position from the major party should be zoned to the south. And indeed, there were there was serious interest ahead of the PDP National Convention as to where 
uh, which zone or of the, which of the six geopolitical zones uh, the chairmanship position of the party would go to. And of course, as we know, the chairmanship position is usually an indication or where the chairman comes from usually gives an indication of where um, the presidential ticket will go to. Well, it's all in the spirit of federal character, they say. We have back on the line um, the Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the People's uh, Democratic Party, um, who was with us earlier before we lost them, talking about none other than Ibrahim Abdullahi. Uh, Ms. Abdullahi, are you there? And can you hear me, please? Yes, I can loud and clear. And sorry for that interruption. N not a problem at all. Um, um, so you, you were saying that, um, indeed, uh, that uh, the you were giving us reasons why the panel made its decision. So can you kindly conclude so we move on to our and the next few questions we have for you? Yeah, yeah, yes, I, I, I was talking about wisdom which prevailed on the committee, having realized the implication of going either the south or the north. It has been a discussion in the front burner of our national discourse. And over the last two months, to be precise, this zoning issue has become a hydra-headed monster. And the media has not helped matters either by making it look as if it's heaven and earth. But we understood from the world go the need to ensure fairness and equity and justice to everyone uh, uh, across the, the, the regions. If the South is asking for it, they are justified because we have qualified persons uh, in the South who could do the job very well. The most important, and then we also have the same people in the North. The most important thing for the PDP going forward is to ensure that power is retrieved from this uh, army of occupation. This people who have come on the line, people who have no program, no ideology, no value whatsoever for human life. The major concern of the PDP now is to ensure that it takes back control of the levers of power and to reduce the sufferings of Nigerians to a minimum, I mean, a level that is uh, bearable. And then to also look at ensuring their security and guaranteeing their livelihood. This is what has uh, 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 concerned the PDP more than where the president will be zoned to, or the presidency will be zoned to. But suffice to say, yes, even if we are to go by computation, which uh, is becoming necessary now, you would agree with us that in the last uh, 22 years or so, since the return of uh, this uh, republic, the PDP uh, government that has ruled for 15 years, I mean 16 years, I beg your pardon, has had Southern presidents on the saddle for more than 14 years or about 13 plus it was only less than two years that President Yaradwa would have been put in the midst of all of this to have uh, ruled this country or the North, had a taste of power over the period in question. Obasanjo, President Olushagon Obasanjo had eight unfettered years. And then he was succeeded by Yaradwa, who in less than two years, you know, fell sick and left the levers of uh, power in the hands of a Southern Vice President, Gunlok Jonathan, as it used to be before we lost President Yaradwa, and then Gulag Jonathan succeeded him. And Gulag Jonathan had cumulative a period of about six years. If you put this together, you are talking about 14 years, more or less. And uh, since then, we lost power in 2015. Now, I don't see why the North should not be in the position to ask, for example, for the opportunity to continue in, in, in uh, governing this country. The reign of powers for PDP is not as important as the interest of the country. The citizenry is our priority. Their predicament is our obligation. We are concerned about how we could put smiling uh, faces around the streets. We are concerned about how we will redeem you know, the promises that Nigerians got from APC and could not reap any from, I mean, any one of it. We're also concerned about salvaging the nation from the twin malady of hunger and poverty. We are looking at areas of strengthening even the principles of democracy and guaranteeing the fundamental rights. Look at these people. They have succeeded in shrinking even the civic space. Nigeria today is living uh, in past glory, perpetual misery, frightening and acute uh, uh, frustration. You see the country just on autopiloting. Nobody seems to be in charge. 
So PDP is not bothered uh, with the issue of zoning as much as it is concerned with the predicament of the, 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 the nation. The citizens are our concern, and we are working tirelessly to ensure that uh, we give them. And I must add, why the North, and I'm not speaking for the North here, I'm just speaking from a rational perspective, because I'm a national officer of the party. Why the North is concerned more about having it, as even beyond the issue of uh, just two years in the 16 years of the PDP, is because of electoral capital. For crying out loud, we are looking at the votes to win elections. We are not saying the South cannot boast of the world. But you look at the chances of uh, the PDP more in the North. Okay, but Mr. Abdullahi, uh, 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 before, because we're out of time, be before we go, um, I still want to state, you know, that uh, on Wednesday, uh, Governor Tom vehemently denied uh, the news making the rounds that his committee had had um, thrown open the, the zoning uh, of its press, of, of all its offices, uh, all, all its tickets, rather, um, to uh, the entire country. Are you there, sir? Yes, he should then be... Te yes, I'm here. If mm -hmm. Otom has denied it, yeah. at first I will ask what was the outcome of the committee then uh, that informed the position of uh, uh, their spokesperson coming to inform the, the, the party that it was thrown open. Okay. Let Governor Otom controvert that by coming to tell us exactly what was arrived at. All right, be, 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 before we go, um, when, when the chairman of the party, I mean, of course, the chairman of the party is from the northern part of Nigeria, albeit the north central, um, uh, Mr. Ayu, um, uh, would it be fair to, for the party to potentially produce a uh, president from uh, the northern part of the country as well? If Are you I there, got sir? that question correctly, which I'm not sure I did, but yes, I'm here. Okay, I'm saying, I'm saying, bearing in mind the fact that uh, Ayu, the chairman of the PDP, is from the north, northern part of Nigeria, albeit the north central geopolitical zone, will it be fair and in adherence to the zoning principle of the yeah. PDP that is in its constitution for the party to potentially produce a presidential candidate and a president also from the northern part of Nigeria? Yes, uh, I don't see anything wrong in that if it would translate to electoral victory for the PDP. What is paramount is the exigency of the time that we live in. We're more concerned about looking at the chances of winning election, even if uh, the zoning is contained in our constitution. In any case, it was only a gentleman agreement that was reached in the beginning. It's not an issue that has become as constitutional as... But, but I, hear, I hear it's in the People's you know, Democratic Party Constitution, sir. Yes, it is in the framework of the PDP's uh, uh, extant rule for, for that zoning to be, to be observed. But I don't see why uh, there wouldn't be, even if it's uh, contained in our laws, amendment to provide for opportunity for the North if it will translate to electoral victory for Okay, all right. For the country. Look at the situation as we speak. Which of the Southern... Right. Yes. Hello? All right. I, I want to thank you very much for your time. Uh, Ibrahim Abdullahi is the Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party. We certainly will have you on the program again um, to talk some more about these issues. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you for staying with us. We round up today's show with a highlight of the week. Plus Politics returns on Monday. I'm Kofi Bartels. Have a great weekend. Everybody wants new Nigeria. Nobody wants to continue with this rusted system system that is not working for anybody except those who are in government and their colonies and people around them. And uh, when you go to the uh, New Nigeria People's Party, we are happy with the New Nigeria and we are happy with New Nigeria People's Party. And you see, we are not only looking for party with the majority of people, uh, we are looking for party that has a potential of receiving people who are of like minds. The party is very much concerned about the security in this country. 
security is key. In fact, in the past, we were taking security for granted because we believe that every responsible government, not only in Nigeria, but across the country, will ensure the security of lives and properties. Unfortunately, we find ourselves in this country that the government uh, in power cannot really say that they have done that. We have seen what happened just recently from here to Kaduna, where the train was attacked. So many people were killed. Some were being injured. Many people were being taken into the bush. As we are speaking now, uh, they are there with the bandits. Only God knows what is happening to them. We have seen young men and women, especially the young doctor that we have seen being killed and we have seen the dead body and so on. It's very unfortunate. And we are not after the statistics of who was killed, who was not killed. What we are interested in is for the government to go and fish out those bandits and terrorists that are killing Niger innocent Nigerians. Yeah, that was trying to harp on these assurances that these people came on board. They went every corner, every nook, assuring Nigeria that they were the only ones with the capacity. And the person of Mr. President said the best thing after uh, Jesus Christ that will happen to Nigeria. And all Nigeria needed to have all its problems fixed was to get that man in power. Today, even his own party patrons, like we have listened recently from Governor Erifai, wrote to me and Michi and very many who have come to say them to admit that there's failure in administration, that there is gross incapacity. But it didn't take us that long for us to know. The first three months, in fact, before he resumed office, we knew that they were foisting on Nigeria a person who is devoid of integrity. You see, it is easier for a court to say IPOB is a terrorist group because it is an association that is defined by objectives and there are leadership, there are structures. You can easily define them as a group. So when you now classify such an organization, then anyone that associates with that organization can be said to be either be a member or aid in affecting the advancement of such cause. Now, these guys are not structured. They don't go about under any name. They are just a bunch of criminals belonging to different camps and different groups that are operating under no known name. Unlike JJN, that's the Nasreo, Islamic, whatever, that's the Boko Haram. And the uh, uh, ISIS in the Islamic uh, West African province. Those are groups that are defined by name and objectives. But these ones are a bunch of criminals. The two major polit most political parties are playing political games. One is watching the other and seeing where, where the direction where the other is going before coming up with the own plan. What is clear is that uh, both parties are in the uh, the, the clamor you know, for uh, power to shift to the south, to the south, uh, within the region. And I'm sure that clamor is not being ignored. That informs the choice of the chairman coming from North Central uh, to make it uh, possible or reality that power will shift to the south. Now the question is, which part of the south? South east, south west, or south south? That's a different issue from this. And uh, I'm sure that that is what will be resolved at the National Convention of Rules of Census has been circulated by some within the party. So whatever it happens, whether it's through a uh, convention or election or, or through selection or through consensus arrangement, uh, what is starting in APC is that the candidate uh, will come from, from the South.